Hey guys, Grassman here. Sorry, I just had to hear the music again. I sounded unfamiliar. Um, yes, yeah, so we're playing more of whatever this game is called. I don't remember. Um, Cells of Singularity, that's it. Okay, we can now get, um, Endurance Hunting or Menstruation. Uh, let's go in... Oh, this one's humans. So we may as well do this. In most mammals, the you... Uterine... Uterine? Uterine? Lining is reabsorbed by the animal at the end of its reproductive cycle. However, in some primates, the lining is instead shed and injected from the body as blood. Um, animals that menstruate can become pregnant at any time of year. I got more humans. And everything else is too expensive. Basking is four quadrillion. There's nothing down here we've missed? No, just basking. Um, let's see. Let's go higher up first, because these ones are only like one billion and stuff, and this one's like 17 billion and one billion. So we'll get those ones later. Um, let's see. What's the cheapest? Robotics. Um, for years we've been fascinated by the idea of robots, machines built in our image to serve our every desire. Those dreams are becoming a reality, and robots are helping us with everything from working in our factories to helping our homes. Um, we need computer and atomic bomb to get the next thing. Computer. Um, our society has become intertwined with machines from such humble beginnings. Now we've built computers, vast machines that can be programmed to compute any number of tasks. Who knows where the, we might go with this. Atomic bomb. When we split the atom, we create a weapon beyond anything we'd ever known before. Are we looking towards Armageddon? That's how humanity has obtained the ability to destroy itself. The information age. The age you're in right now. Also known as the computer age or the digital age. We've got technology. So these are producing 1 million a second, these are producing 27 million a second. Um, I do need information age things. These are all 10. Um, computer terminal. Computers used to be so huge that they would take up an entire room. These days we have a neat little boxes that can fit computers comfortably on our desks. That's atomic. That's information for 50% more efficient. By taking our DNA apart and seeing how it works, we're able to understand the genes of our ancestors. Of our ancestors. Of our ancestors can and do still affect our lives today. Okay. I was wondering what he was trying to say there. DNA storage. I can't quite. That's trillions. I guess because of the television. Um. Like a radio with pictures or a movie theater. In the comfort of your home, televisions allow for the birth of broadcast media. Plastic. By synthesizing organic compounds, we're able to create strong materials and we use them every for everything from clothes to packing to building materials. V2 rocket. Some madman has built a rocket to strike at targets 200 miles away. Give him a few more years and he'll be aiming for the moon. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Carl, you remember this? Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. We're gonna get it for you, Carl. These guided missiles were designated to deliver nuclear weapons to their targets. Hopefully no one ever uses them for that purpose. We did it. Sputnik. The world's first satellite. Sputnik was launched by the USSR in 1957. It orbited the Earth for three weeks, kickstarted the space race between the United States and the USSR, and taught us new and unpredicted information about the atmosphere or planet. Space race. Um, that is information age, so sure. It's a lot, though. Um... Computer chip is better. A fundamental element of the computer, a chip is a set of electronic circuits that contain data. Over the years, the size has gotten smaller, but the amount of information they can hold has only increased. 
Oh, we got video games. Video games. You're playing one right now. Hey, what's that? Why haven't we invented the fourth wall yet? What fourth wall? There's never been a fourth wall. Um, we can get nuclear power. At the atomic level, vast amounts of energy are unleashed. By splitting the, the atom, we've learned to harness those reactions for our own means. We can get three more of these so it's even as well. You're welcome, ADHD people. That's not what AD. That's that 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 was not the right. That's not what ADHD is. OCD. That's the one. <laughs> let's let's play. Guess the guess which of the dozen mental things come ins to play here. Come it come ins come ins to play here. English speaker of the year right here, everyone. Can you believe my ability to talk? I know, right? There's another one. It's way out there. There's two more. There's there's one out here. There's three more up that way. Humans finally have possibly almost have access to some. I don't know what we're still waiting for. I'm really not sure. I think we're waiting for, like, something way up here to happen, and then we're going to go back and hit humans. Tribalism is only 1.78 billion. Humans naturally organize themselves into tribes. Many other animals do this too, but humans bring community organization to a much more complex level. Um, we're getting a lot of billions per second as well. We can, we can, we'll still be able to quite before we quite about this. Um, let's see, a game engine. This game was made in one of these. Really? I can't believe it. Forgetting the unwieldiness of home phones, now with their long cords and heavy bases. Um, now our phones fit in our pocket. Yeah, did I tell did I ever tell you guys I used to own one of the manual phone one of the manual phones? Um like one of the ones you had to um like dial with the actual you know what we call it like dialing a phone? Because you actually had to like turn a thing and die and like spin it in a circle and then put the number. Um, I don't remember exactly. There's there's two options. It was either either you put your finger in the zero and then you spun it around to where you wanted. No. There was an extra one because you had to be able to dial a zero. So you put your foot either you put your finger in the extra one and you spun it to the number you want and then you let it go, or you put the, your finger in the number you wanted and spun it to the extra thing, then let it go. And then you would do that to dial the thing. We had one of those. I had one of those phones. Um, until I was a five, maybe, is when we got rid of it. We got a, a modern one. 10%, 10%, 10, 10, 10. 20. Space race is 20%. During this period, a fierce competition between two countries, both the USSR, that's another civilian, and the United States made the discoveries that helped to propel the world forward in the age, to the age of space exploration. Yeah, can we get a sec can we get a new space race? We haven't we haven't like done enough space stuff recently. We need we need a new one. We need to reignite the war between the US and the USSR. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. The James Webb is a fairly big step towards that, but we still need more. We need to get that mission to Mars going. NASA says they're doing that like twenty twenty five, but it's been too long. Okay, international collaboration. The web telescope wasn't created by NASA alone. The European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency both contributed funding, equipment, and a launch facility submission. Budget. Initially the budgeted at one billion, Webb's final price tag was a whopping nine point seven billion. Rigorous testing requirements and the need to keep up with advancing technology ticked up the cost over time. It's a long way that one's extending to. Um, galactic birth. Webb will study events from the from the early in from early in the universe's history when the first galaxies took shape. Astronomers have, have war, warring theories about how this happened, and Webb's discoveries may finally put the debate to rest. More logits. Collect construction. Development 100% more efficient. 
Oh, yeah. So, funding is the next one. Space missions have a history of going over budget. Costs are tough to predict for a unique, never-before-seen piece of equipment, and technological progress rarely comes cheap. Let's see exoplanets. Um, one of Webb's aims is to discover new planets outside the solar system called exoplanets. These alien biomes can teach us about how planets form, and we might even find worlds that resemble our own. Well, we can put more into that, and that will just slowly tick up. Seventy thirty thirty. Seven forty two. Let's tap for a while to hit that. These event ones are like really slow and expensive. Yeah, these logics though, they're used to buy some interesting things. I'm um, getting, like, the telescope artifact. Times two buff to all terrestrial planets in the Beyond simulation. That one seems pretty good. Bronze Age. Yeah, so this one seems like the best. It is 50, though. I don't think I'm going to get that. Um, I can get the low-res flatworm. Okay, and on to Mesozoic Valley. Do, 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 do. I like the classical music that's played in this game. I still didn't get anything to automate those ones. Um, let's see. Let's go with Triceratops. Uh, Stegosaurus is making us a lot. Triceratops is two. Mutagen, wings, pelvis, pelvis, tail club. Um, there's Stegosaurus, wings, armor, bone, these ones are what's making us money, so I want to get these first. Mutagen, bones, bones, armor, wings. Those ones are making a decent amount, but... Wings, tail club, bone... These ones are making a lot for us. Definitely upgrade them. Okay, collect is the next one. It's gonna be a little while coming yet. Eugen. Oh, that was the one for the water guy. Nice. Mutagen, ossification, armor, bone. Now we are waiting on billions. That's making a quarter million every time. Thank you. How much is the Peliosaur making every time? And how much is the... Pterosaur making? I can just look. Um, over a million per second. About three million per second. Three million a second is really good. This is making even better than that. It's four billion to upgrade. We could just asteroid, but the money thing will give us just more stuff. More mutagen before we have to go on again. Um, it's probably worth waiting for that. Let's go back to the world then. The first time we've ran, ran out of things to do. Progress is slowing down. Let's go see all this stuff. A lot of worms.
Only ever two humans. Oh, there's four ages here. I didn't realize four of them are there. There's three here. And there's three here. We have 70 billion again. I'll probably put some more into information on my own time as well. I'll put, I'll put some extra into this. Apollo 11. Um, with the Apollo 11 space mission, the first humans land on the moon. Um, there's that one. Some more of that. Let's also see if we can get any more... More amino acid. More DNA. Tetrapod. Mammal. Ape. Some more stuff we can do here. More Stone Age. More Neolithic. Mud Brick. That's a fairly useful item. Let's see. Arp Arpanet. Arpanet. An early computer network that would eventually evolve into what we know as the modern internet. Home PC. Once computers were monstrous machines so large they filled the entire room, we've shrunk them down a lot since then. Thought we already got this one. That's like the same as a computer terminal. Um, Game Engine. Give us a game we made on one of these. More for that cell. Bunch of stuff around here, too. That's locked for now. Requires singularity. Um. Neolithic. Bronze Age. Mud brick. Um. One. One of the earliest human manufactured building materials, this mix of mud, sand, water, and loam, loam, enabled us to build permanent living structures the first time. Selective breeding. Humans learn to breed animals with specific beneficial traits. Our conscious, our con conscious manipulation of genes lead led to further domestication. More for the Bronze Age. Geometry. Internet, a system of interlinked computer networks that connects the whole world. The greatest and worst thing that ever, the greatest and worst thing that ever happened to us. Ouch. I mean, true, but pointing out some flaws in society. Um, search engine. Not sure what it is. You should probably Google it. Yep. It's like always the... It's always true. But you're a doctor and think you should know everything? Google it. More the Industrial Revolution. Combustion engine. Not quite worth it. Moon mission. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong. Humans set foot in the moon for the first time, and a new era of space exploration begins. Space station. That's for the emergent age. Man once, conf once confined to Earth can now live in outer space, orbiting the planet for prolonged periods of time. Astronauts living in the International Space Station 
are learning about the effects of long-term spaceflight. So this is going out into like space stuff, and this is going like technology route. Text based user interfaces are are out. Graphical icons and visual indicators are in. Email using the internet and the information superhighway we can now send electronic message to computers from computer to computer. Snail mail no more. Um, we'll get one last one. CD ROM. Toss these floppy disks out the window. Use lasers to read binary data encoded as tiny dots on a disk. CD ROMs are able to pack in more data in a neater, higher quality package. And that's the last one we'll get. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoy my content, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, we're gonna keep playing this. This is getting like pretty meta. We're gonna have a lot of stuff when we come back next time to like buy tons of these things. Um, and like I said, I'll probably get a like a. I might st stick. I might come back in like an hour and get a whole bunch more information ages just so we have enough stuff for next time. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you like content, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.